first of all, fresh. Thank you. Definitely Thank need you. one of these because I done. can definitely fit this with my done Michigan dunks. I know you done. know how yes, I get indeed. down. So I need to ask you why Detroit? Obviously you're from here, but that's the easy answer. Mm -hmm. Why Detroit and why this particular area? My hometown, it made me what I am. You know, Jay once said with Sauce Money and what the game made me, not what the fame made me. Listen, right? that's right. No amount of money could change me. And so I didn't want the scholars and the teachers to look out the window and see pain. Mm. Like it exists but we try to make school an escape as much as possible. And so we're on Comstock Park and we have a tennis court. We have a softball backstop. You'll see young people out there practicing football and pal and stuff. Just, just to give them a sense of hope because on the block, you can lose your innocence really early. Yeah. But also, it's an 11th month school. Yes. So what does that mean exactly? Because you think a school, it's not 11 months long. That's Correct. almost a year. Explain a little bit more what that means. I think that an 11 month motto is a progression of what we need to have in America. Like getting out of school in June and going back in September and thinking that young people are going to retain that information, that's inaccurate. Like when I was a student, yeah, love getting out for the summer. Yeah, what up? Yeah. But we're not gonna be able to compete in a global economy like that. And so in 11 month, it's basically in July, if you fail a class, you have summer school. Yeah. If you pass all of your classes, college experience, internship. We also provide trades for our scholars, sports, extracurricular activities. So it's full service. What did your high school do for you when you graduated? Not a thing. That, that part. <laughs> That's what, also what yeah. makes us different. Our college success staff, they match you with a college, they support you while you're in college, we fundraise for you, make sure you have all of the support that you need. I love how you refer to them as scholars instead of students. Yes. Is there a particular reason that you do that or is it that just how you refer to students across the board? Imagery. Here's the thing. Students, students, students. You hear that all of the time, right? Scholar gives you a sense of pride. Yeah. You know, a little steam it has a about level. yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? A, a little prestige mm -hmm. to go with it. And when people started calling you something different, you start feeling different. You start doing better. You start wanting to do better. And that's really where it came from. The Fab Five, one of the most polarizing, one of the most entertaining, one of the most historic college teams in the history of basketball. Do you think there will ever be another? Respectfully, no. In the 80s, I looked up the multiple teams. I looked up to the Georgetown Hoya teams led by John Thompson. I looked up to the UNLV running Rebels and my brother Anderson Hunt and Jerry Tarkanian. And I looked up to the University of Michigan squad and I saw you rocking the dunks, they look cold. And I bring <laughs> that up for a reason because those were team shoes. The Hirachi was a Fab Five shoe. Right, that, that's, that changed the game. That shoe has been re-released two or three times. And they're extremely hard to get now. Exactly, <laughs> extremely, right? Yeah. So, so we had a shoe. We helped embrace hip hop and rap music at a time when mainstream America wasn't doing it. And then just fashion wise, just wearing longer shorts, um, wearing bald heads, playing with a personality. And I'm just happy that I get a chance to look in the rear view mirror and see a lot of people who didn't like us or remember the days where I was a villain to the public. Imagine this face, I used to be a villain. <laughs> if you look at uh, some of the most hated college players of all time, like I'll be on that list. Top 10? That's crazy. Are you top 10? Unfortunately, I don't want, I don't want to be, but I, I am. So now with the NIL, players can profit off of their name, their image, their likeness. How is that going to change college sports and the athlete? It's going to change it in a lot of ways. You're still going to have the elite players right after high school with a big decision. Many of them in a couple of years are going to go straight to the NBA. Then you're going to see they, those that go to the G League, mm -hmm. and then they're going to be those that still end up in college and or overseas. So now just create options. But for certain colleges, you're going to see they're not going to embrace it the way we're talking about it. Yeah. See, right now we're talking about it and we're celebrating it like John Doe College is gonna help you get NIL. 
and that's not necessarily true. Let's talk new rookie class. Okay. All right. Detroit basketball. No doubt. Got what else? Got themselves Cade Cunningham. Uh -huh. I know you were extremely excited. You yes. were at the draft in yes. Brooklyn, the yes, place indeed. that birthed me. Yes, indeed. How excited are you for the future of the Detroit Pistons? So it's one thing to have a number one pick, but it's another thing to have a consensus number one player. Mm. And that's a difference. And he was that in this draft. And he could dribble, pass, and shoot going to compete defensively, and is going to be a terrific leader to go with our other young players, Killian Hayes, Bay, um, Stewart. So I think we're building something special. Dwayne Casey's big coach of the year. And shout out to, you know what, to the Detroit Pistons for their support with this school. See, there are a lot of teams that play in your hometowns. There are a lot of companies that make money where you live, but not many of them actually give back. See, the Detroit Pistons have been supporting me in Platinum Equity and their owner, Tom Gores, since the inception of this school. And so, as somebody whose father played for the Pistons and was also a number one overall pick, that's my favorite team. Yeah. And so, I'll be there to cheer them on. Kate will be Rookie of the Year. Oh. We will be in the playoffs this year. And oh. yeah, I said it and I ain't stutter. Those are two big predictions. Yes, that part. I want to ask you, MVP, who are you going with? Your ooh. two early predictions. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you who should win it. OK. But they're not. Who's, who should win it? Yeah. Giannis should win it every year. That's we we in we in that era right now. Just so y'all know, if y'all ain't been paying attention, we in the Greek free yeah. era. It's gonna be what he gonna be thirty and fifteen. He he figured out. Let me tell you what I saw. I was at the game and I saw the switch click on in his head. He's like, they can't stop me. So Giannis will be in that conversation. It's you know, I say KD <laughs> gonna win MVP. Okay. Yeah, KD. All right. So NBA rapid fire. You okay. ready? Just a bunch of questions All right, back let's to get back. It. Mm -hmm. Are the Lakers too old, or are you concerned about their age and the longevity of the season? I'm concerned that they're not going to have a top one or two seed in the West because of that age. Mm -hmm. LeBron will be low managed, so will AD. So that means their age is going to have an effect. Russell, however, is why you bring him to LA, because he plays fast. And even though he's 32 years of age, he, it, he's going to be a guy that helps get them through the regular season. But once the playoffs start, nobody in the West beating them four out of seven. Okay, next nobody question. Nobody in the West. Does LeBron get ring number five? Yes. The, I hate to be this guy. The, the Lakers, <laughs> be the guy. Right, the Lakers are the clear-cut best team in basketball. Do the Nets stay healthy enough to come out of the East this yes, year? Yes, yes. They got humbled by Giannis. And even though they dealt with some injuries, um, because James Harden had a hamstring injury, I'm not going to say because he started the season out of shape, it had an effect. But I will say they're going to come into this season more focused, more disciplined because they just saw the Bucks do it. And because of that, they'll play more than 20 games as a collective. And yes, the Nets win the, the, Nets win the East, the Lakers win the West, the Lakers win it all in six. Wow. 